is seriously ill with inhaled anthrax, the most dangerous form of the disease. The president orders the CIA to do whatever it takes to destroy Osama bin Laden's terrorist network. U.S. bombers hit hard on the Taliban's front lines, some of the heaviest bombing so far. And war, like politics, makes for unusual bedfellows. The president heads home with China's support. From ABC, this is World News Tonight, Sunday. Good evening, I'm Chris Bury in Washington. Tonight we have a tenth confirmed case of anthrax, this one in a Washington postal worker. His is the far more deadly inhaled form of the disease. The man is in serious but stable condition. His case has prompted a new round of testing among thousands of postal employees, and it raises serious questions about the potency of anthrax delivered in the U.S. mail. ABC's Pierre Thomas is at Washington's main postal facility. Pierre? Chris, this is the largest mail processing center in the nation's capital. Right now, it is closed, and there's great concern about one of its own. This particular patient came to the emergency room Friday afternoon with symptoms representing or se seeming like the flu. Investigators cannot rule out that the worker's illness is connected to the anthrax which has shown up at Capitol Hill, including in a letter to Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle. There is likely to be other cases of inhalation anthrax that will come forth. And we have a responsibility to identify them early. And we're trying to trace, trace that down and get to the bottom of this. A senior law enforcement official tells ABC News that the Dasha letter contained finely milled anthrax powder. In fact, the official said, when the letter was opened, a small plume of anthrax vapor mushroomed out. Officials believe the Washington anthrax originated in New Jersey, and officials there are planning to test a number of mailboxes from the township of Hamilton for spores. Some town officials say the Postal Service has been slow to act to support workers who may have been exposed. The Postal Service should have, right from the beginning, said, uh, we're going to take care of you because you've, uh, you've reported to work when you knew that you were at risk, and uh, they haven't done that, and uh, shame on them. In Washington, officials are taking no chances and are planning to test more than 2,100 workers at the Washington, D.C. Postal Office. We're going to do everything we can and everything we have to do working with the Postal Service, working with the CDC, with federal officials, with uh, the state of Virginia and Maryland, our hospital association, uh, through our public health department to see that people are getting the treatment they need when they need that treatment. But should the American public be concerned about their mail? Right now, the Postal Service continues to say no. There is no indication that anything out of the Brentwood plant was problematic. Even with the new scare, Congress plans to be open for business on Tuesday. Chris? Thanks, ABC's Pierre Thomas. New York City Mayor Rudolph Giuliani says environmental anthrax tests at ABC and other media outlets have come back negative. No source found yet for the skin anthrax infection of an ABC producer's seven-month-old son. Four New Yorkers are infected with skin anthrax, one case each at NBC, CBS, ABC, and the New York Post. 